Kira Beatrice, so we'll see the next lady in the board then together. A reality north of the border which it's hoped will seep south and improve patient safety. Small but crucial checks are now ingrained in the psyche of Scottish hospital staff. Rigorous monitoring of infection rates, staying on top of hygiene and better staff communication has brought about a 12% drop in the mortality rate over the last five years. We have seen reductions in our ICU uh, host-acquired infection rate, we've seen reductions in our length of stay within the ICU and we've seen reductions in mortality most of all. So our patients are doing better by not doing anything fancy. It was this American who helped trigger that change and now the former health advisor to the US president is aiming to spread his wisdom. In the wake of the Mid-Staffordshire scandal where hundreds of patients died from neglect, Professor Don Berwick was drafted in by the government. He spent months probing the NHS and has now come up with suggestions for change. Culture trumps regulation every single time. That's, we say that in our report and I really believe it. You stand a chance of building on a great foundation in the NHS of a culture of learning and growth and development. We share the information, we talk with each other, we discover what's wrong and we get about fixing it together. He set out a series of measures to deliver safety in England's hospitals. He says patients have to be listened to, but staffing levels also have to be addressed. He wants a formula created to guarantee the right levels of staff on a ward, but he doesn't want a minimum set. He rejects the idea of a legal duty of candour where staff are obliged to acknowledge mistakes. But he did suggest the introduction of criminal sanctions in very extreme cases of willful or reckless neglect. The Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, said the government will now ponder that report, weigh up the suggestions. But his acknowledgement that change will take time was greeted with frustration by many fighting for patients' rights. Carl Hendrickson's wife and son died at a Cumbrian hospital where poor care claimed the lives of up to 14 babies. He's fed up of reports and says it's time to act. Well, I think we need openness. We need honesty. And it's, uh, it's a very basic thing to ask for, you know. And uh, it, I think it, a willingness for the NHS to change. But a big cultural shift in all levels of a vast organisation won't happen immediately. Habits, practices, ways of behaving are learned over years and may take a while undoing. Michelle Clifford, Sky News.